Another day with Riding with the Stars. Yes, today we're going to be going all the way to Spain, Madrid, Spain, yes, uh, to meet a nine-year-old girl. And her name was Venerable Maria del Carmen Gonzalez Valerio. Yes, and this girl was born into a very prominent Catholic family. But on the day of her birth, doctors revealed she would be gravely ill. And so her mother decided to baptize her on the same day of her birth. And so she also, with special permission from the Apostolic Nuncio, um, she also received the other sacraments of confirmation and Holy Communion at a very young age. And at the age of two, she had a heart of charity. There would be poor men and women at her doorstep, knocking on the door for food or clothing, and she would give whatever she could. And then she said, please knock on the door one more time so my mother can give you something else. <laughs> what a... Uh, just at the age of two, she had a heart of cherry. And she also knew the, the devotions like rosaries and divine mercies just at the age of four. And she had this love and for, for God all her life. And she was really specially gifted. And uh, at the age of six, her father was unjustly taken in by the government. Because during that time, it was the 1930s, where Spain was going under much religious persecution during the Spanish Civil War. And so this time, uh, with by publicly um, being a, a prominent Catholic of the time, her father was taken unjustly and persecuted. And how did Maria del Carmen Carmen respond. She said, oh, every day I pray the rosary, I'm going to be praying for my father. I'm going to be praying for those murderers who killed my father. What faith, what love, what forgiveness of a nine-year-old, of six-year-old Maria del Carmen. At the age of nine, she said she offered her life knowing that she fell sick and ill. And so she offered up in the church where um, just just very close to her and she covered her eyes and said Jesus Mary and Joseph to the Holy Family I surrender I commend my spirit upon you and into thy hands I commend my spirit she gave everything to the Holy Family and leaving this world in 1939 as a nine-year-old child and what can we learn from Maria del Carmen? How her parents grew up in this faith. How her parents, and especially her father, loved her very much and wanted to raise her and give the sacraments right away. Maybe during this COVID time, we wait until we can make it a celebration. But don't hold off to the sacraments, especially of baptism. But have it right away. Regardless of COVID or not, the canon law and the catechism all recommend that we give the sacraments, especially baptism, at immediately, within weeks of her birth. And so, let us do the same, and let us teach our children this great love and fervor for the Lord. And may all our children have that heart of charity, like Maria del Carmen. Let's pray for that gift, the gift of love, gift of charity, this Advent season, and we can pray. May the Almighty God bless you, and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today's challenge, let's call our godparents today. If they are no more, let's pray for their soul. If you have a picture of your first Holy Communion, post that as your WhatsApp status. Ejaculatory Prayer Lord Jesus, come into my heart.